Hello Year 7, today you are going to be learning how to light a Bunsen burner. So before you do anything else, you are going to need safety goggles and either an apron or lab coat. Okay, the Bunsen burner. So there it is in all its glory, the Bunsen burner. Now before we do anything else, we are going to learn the names of the parts of the Bunsen burner so we can talk about it or write about it and everybody understands what we are saying. So, at the bottom we have the base, we have a, a hole here that is called the air hole, around the air hole we've got a spinny thing which is called the collar and the collar either closes the air hole or opens it or if you're really good with Bunsen burners you can maybe have it half open. And then this top part here is called the barrel. When you are lighting the Bunsen burner, you will be using thin pieces of wood that are called splints. Step one, when you are lighting a Bunsen burner, and this is the step that everybody gets wrong, so don't you be one of those everybody's, is the air hole must be closed. Think A, B, C, always be closed. When you're lighting the Bunsen burner, always close the air hole. Step two, you take your splint and you light your splint from another Bunsen burner in the room. There will be a lit Bunsen burner on my desk. You then bring that lit splint back to your Bunsen burner. Now this is very important. The next step is to turn on the gas. You do not turn on the gas until the lit splint has arrived. I repeat, do not turn on the gas until the lit splint has arrived. Now that it has arrived, we can turn on the gas by lifting the yellow gas tap and turning anti-clockwise. And you see, as soon as we do that, the Bunsen burner lights. Okay, Year 7, it is now your turn. Go light your Bunsen burners.